Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Speak and Grow Rich podcast. Today, we have Sandra Shannon with us. And Sandra is one of my best success stories. She is a graduate of Coaching With Me, and she is a woman in tech, a pioneer, a renaissance woman. And she's the one that got a 45K talk and many more results. So, Sandra, welcome. Tell us a little bit about you. What is inspiring you to be a speaker at this point in your life? Well, first, thank you for having me. And let's see, what inspires me? Well, you know, I have to thank you because I use that Renaissance woman all the time and I got that from you. And I really appreciate you seeing that in me. But what inspired me to speak and what inspired me to reach out to you was the the calling to get on stages because I knew that it was going to be a win for my business. I know that speaking is one of the best ways for people to get to know you. And mm-hmm. with my uh, with my organization, Gate Master Technology, being in such a niche industry, I knew that getting on stages was something that I needed to do. And the other thing was, is that I had been with the company for 20 years, made my way up to CEO. And I just felt like that there was a story that needed to be told for people to be able to connect with us and to partner with us. So yeah. hopefully that answers question but that was really the what got me to reach out to you and 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 know that you were the person I needed and I remember specifically you talking about this fear you had because you were in these rooms and you knew you had so much to share on your heart and to give and to articulate but you felt afraid did you remember feeling that way yeah I still feel that way (laughs) yeah by being completely honest and real and I'm a real person just like everybody else I think that, you know, definitely the fear of being on stage, which is a very real thing, I think, for most people, especially now that I'm having this conversation more open, openly, and I think that you really open the doors for me to feel comfortable speaking that out loud, right? Mm-hmm. But once I got on stage and for the first time, and then even the last few times that I, I the last one, I was 1,700 people in attendance, Right. It was wild. I mean, definitely scary, right? Yeah, for real. uh, A lot of what we worked through um, with regards to speaking our way to success helped me to figure out that it was okay to do it scared. Yes. I mean, pretty much everything in life that's worth doing, you got to do scared. Do it scared. Yeah. Yeah, Exactly. Okay, I love it. So how many... How many speaking gigs have you had last year and this year? So last year I was able to book 10 speaking gigs. Um, This year I have done two. Uh, And I think that I'm just about to book another one for the summertime. Mm -hmm. Or actually book two, about to book hopefully two or three more. One for sure in the summertime. I think I've got locked in. Um, And then also was able to do a number of podcasts last year. I've done three this year. Um, which might not seem like a lot, but I'm also running a company. So it's, you know, it's, it's just, it's doing this while juggling uh, being a CEO of a tech company and trying to get parks open for the season. And, and so Mm -hmm. I feel really great that I've been able to fit those in, but yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So you realized your dream and honestly, you did it pretty fast. You turned it around really fast. And I remember you even had your own little mini event as well when we were yeah. working together. So you have done so much. So um, let me ask you about oh, what was the thing? So like for you, how is it that, I don't even remember what I'm going to ask you. So I'm going to have to, <laughs> one second. <laughs> so I remember during the pandemic, it really affected your business because you do events. So tell us a little bit about how you went down and how you got back up. So I'm sure you're you know, not the only one that had a rough time. No, I'm not the only one. And I know that this is, you know, a, a, a rough conversation for some people to have even still today and sometimes even a little tough for me. But during the pandemic, I, you know, Gatemaster, our clientele is mostly attraction based businesses. And the unfortunate thing about the pandemic was that attractions were not seen to be essential whatsoever. So in the in event, event that they were closed for the summer of 2020, many of them didn't get to reopen until 2022, leaving this like huge gap right. for our for our industry. And I mean, we're still trying to recover from that. But, 
you know, one of the things that really inspired me to work with you at that time, because I think it was like towards the end of the pandemic that we decided to work together. Right. Yeah. Yep. And I think that the, the thing that really got me the courage to do all of this was that, you know, I'd grown my company to a certain size. We were comfortable and the pandemic showed me that comfort was a real dream killer. Mm. You know, I couldn't get comfortable. I had to expand and grow beyond where we, had. if I was coming back, we yep. had to come back bigger than ever. And I think that yes. that's, you know, for lack of, I, I know for the sake of time, you know, it's very difficult. It's a, it's a lot that happened during that time, but mm-hmm. ultimately what we realized is that, you know, we needed to take this company uh, to a much bigger uh, level than we had ever been before. In fact, I'm sitting on a, this was the business plan to uh-huh. almost 300 pages that we built out last year. And uh-huh. a lot of it, um, a lot of what's in that business plan, I actually spent $150,000, $300,000 somewhere, I don't even know anymore, to build that with uh, another mentor that really could see the potential in the business and how we could get to our goal of $100 million, which I think it's something that you and I had talked about Mm-hmm. During the time we were first talking, it just didn't really, I didn't, I didn't have an, an idea of how he was going to do that. But even within this business plan, you know, all of the work that I did in terms of personal development, being able to get on stages, you know, one of the things that's built in the business plan was to use Sandra as the face of the company and to let her get on stages mm-hmm. and to allow yeah. us to get known and seen because prior to the pandemic, I was just working in the background, doing executive work, building out products. You know, and I was working on relationships, but I didn't like being out there. And I shouldn't say I didn't like it. I was afraid of it. I'm mm. not afraid of it anymore. And I think that I think that the pandemic hopefully showed a lot of us that we can't we can't be working from a place of fear. We have to be coming from a place of abundance. Yeah. You know, I'm now choosing, you know, we are everybody talking about the recession right now. I'm choosing not to participate. Oh, yeah, I'm not either. We're going all in. Yeah. Well, we, it's a creator's economy. It's a higher level economy. I I think of it like a upper room. And when we have as a creator, as speakers, authors, coaches, consultants, what we're doing, we're creating an economy. We're not participating in Yeah. It's all just a paradigm anyway. So that's great. So you're getting your dreams. What did that feel like? I know so many of our listeners would love to have a $45,000 engagement. What did that feel like? for you to walk on that stage, 1700 people, 45,000, you know, um, well, and, and, and 45,000 was paid to the company, mm-hmm. but it's still a massive win. Right. Yeah. And I think that, I mean, honestly, it just felt awesome. Like even like the founder of gate master, who's, uh, retired now and still a mentor of mine. Cause I, we've worked together for 20 years. I mean, I would say like, it was an incredible feeling to let him know that like, hey, this work that I'm doing paid off this much for the company. But not only that, and I haven't talked really openly about this since being on stage, but he was there in the audience. Nice. And part of the conversation that I was having with, because I was at a, a, an event called Women Impact Tech, and it's a lot of entry level to mid level employees inside of tech companies, all of which are women. But it was a really great feeling to be on stage and not only advocate for like mentorship, which is what you're giving people and women like me by teaching us how to get on stages, how to monetize stages, what that looks like. Um, But also like just to see, just to have that come full circle in that way where he's sitting there in the audience and Mm -hmm. just to, to make him proud in a different way, to be a different kind of success for, story for him. And I think that that's the same thing that I feel an affinity for, for you is that, you know, I want to be one of your best success stories. Mm-hmm. Nice. You that's know? so cool. I, Yeah. I mean, and, but that also speaks to the type of coaching that you do, right? Yeah. When you have a good, coach, you want to make them proud. Right. It's true. And I love that. So it's like this full circle and you're the legacy. You're like standing on his shoulders and then you're reaching a whole nother demographic, resting in the new paradigms of women. And what I loved about our coaching is I, I remember like just helping you. I felt like I was helping you really see 
these incredible dynamics that you bring to the table as a mom, as a CEO, as a dancer, as an artist, as a creator. I mean, you had, you were like, oh, by the way, I have this business. Like you had all these like random, but what was the yeah. business? Did you have a CBD business too? Oh yeah. I yeah. mean, that, well, actually that's one of my coaching clients. Uh-huh. And I've just helped to, and he's got a great product, but you know, um, you know, but that just also speaks to all the stuff that we're doing. You know, he just brought me in to help him uh, get his product into larger organizations so that we could we, we could help him. But, you know, that's just part of like, I would say the success of what we were working on, because I came after that came after we started working together and I I started promoting more. I started putting myself out there, you know, all the things that felt uncomfortable don't feel as uncomfortable to me anymore. But I also think like, you know, you you just got to do it. You just got to keep going, find what works and repeat what works. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what I really hear you saying, the heart of this is the ripple effect. As you've gotten out of your own way and out of your comfort zone, you've stretched, but now you've brought all these other people. Your circle has widened to influence and inspire and uplift more people. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. You know, it's, it's so a good, cool. and you know, I think like, when I realized that, and and I'll tell you, when I was on stage last, I throw my back out mm -hmm. and, you know, everybody kept saying, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. Actually, I tore a disc. It wasn't even just wow. throw my back. I tore a disc. I was on bed rest for like, I, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I had to leave to San Francisco on Monday and everybody, everybody gave me an out. But, and, and I appreciate that. But at the same time, I kept thinking about how many athletes show up to the the main event, yes. like this is what I've been working for this whole time to do was to have my own session, to be on stage, to monetize it in a way that benefited my business and to create and have such a big impact on people. And I think that that's really only possible when you're willing to be on stages, right? Mm -hmm. Even if it's a podcast or whatever that looks like. But, you know, I, I showed up and, and if I just mentioned this, it was, it was really interesting because I think just being a real person up there, you know, they had to bring me a chair to sit in. Oh my gosh. And I didn't get to wear the dress that I had and the yeah. heels that I you know, I had this whole thing planned out. Instead, I ended up in pants and tennis shoes. They had sparkles right. though. Oh so, good. But you know, and I got on stage and I just happened to just say, like, look, I'm here. And I made it part of the presentation that I made mm -hmm. it to the finish line. And I think that that is. The biggest thing that I hope people take from this call is that you just got to keep going and not give up. I mean, sometimes it doesn't feel like you can, you're having a big impact, but then when you get there, you realize that it's, it's, it's close and mm -hmm. you're really contributing to um, like a bigger picture for other people. And True. I think that was a really cool thing. Like you, you, that you could be on stage. I mean, I had so many people lined up. I had people to wow. talk to for two days. What? I couldn't even like the social events because I was like so tapped out by the end of both days because yeah. I had I had a line of people waiting to talk to me all day, both days. Amazing. So while you know, I'm still judging myself a little bit because I, I realize that there are some things I still need to work on, the ums and the you Always. know. I mean, I'm a bit of a valley girl too, so I'm sure that comes out. But the um <laughs> but you know, I, the feedback is overwhelming that I should just mm -hmm. stay the course. So while I course. Have, like everybody else, I, 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 I just keep going. Right. And the, and for you, you're not a professional speaker. You are the CEO of the tech company and the face of it. And then you're doing this on the side. So I love that you're constantly invested in your improvement and still you did it anyway. You didn't do it because a lot of people would let perfection stop them and not take action. I am so proud of you. You did that with the slip disc. And I also remember you shared that your two children went with you, supported you. Yeah. So now you're building legacy, influencing their life as well. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, like they were running a booth at the event for the company. We had a, we had a hiring booth and uh, uh, they said to me, they said, mom, can we watch you speak? Mm -hmm. and I'm like, of course. And I can't, I can't even tell you what a cool feeling. I don't want to cry. Oh, you could cry. What a cool feeling it was to have my kids there. You know. For real. And, 
And the thing that I love the most about it is I know they know I was scared, you know, especially because mm-hmm. they they saw me in bed the last few days. I had to bring, I brought my son to be like the muscle to carry all my stuff because I couldn't even mm-hmm. lift my own drink, you know, oh, and then my yeah. daughter, they really helped facilitate conversations when I got busy and mm-hmm. to look out for and, and take care of me and just to have them see, like, you know, I think every kid deserves a parent who, who follows their dreams. You know, I think that's the best oh. thing we can. So I don't, I don't oh. mean to get, weak, I have everybody. chills. I have chills. It's so good. Well, because they're watching us, they're watching you and they're making decisions on their potential and also their ceiling based on our performance. Yeah. yeah. Like that belief lid should be lifted for them, but also our hope that it, you know, I know that the work that you're doing is facilitating raising the belief lid for a lot of people. And you did that for me. Thank for you. Sure. Well, I, you're the best. Congratulations. What is next for you? And then we'll wrap it up. Ooh, next for me. I mean, right now, I just have a lot of really great things happening at Gatemaster, especially with this business plan and moving in the direction. We've already crushed all of our targets. Wow. The, our targets for the first quarter and we're getting ready to just do it again for the second quarter and and just really trying to find the people that we can help and i think ultimately like who can we have the greatest impact on and um you know i'm just excited about whatever that journey looks like i mean i don't even know what that looks like all i know is that i got 10 year 100 million dollar goal and hoping to collapse that time by improving yeah. myself and you know just moving in that Ten direction year, 100 million dollar goal let's go we'll have yeah. another interview asap <laughs> that, that is collapsing well thank you so much i know we can follow you on social media sandra strange on facebook and instagram is that right or big goal energy big goal energy on instagram and then you know what the best place probably where i'm most active if you want to con- really connect with me would be linkedin and i'm just sandra shannon uh, on LinkedIn, Gate Master Technology. If you want to check out the company, I'd love to have you follow me and see what else we're up to because I know there's lots of good things coming um, down the pipe. And yeah, just cool stuff. Cool stuff. All right. Well, congrats, everyone. Give her a round of applause. If you want to get some results like Sandra, join the Speak and Grow Rich Challenge. Go to speakandgrowrichchallenge.com. And take five days together with me where we're going to map out your stories, your signature talk, and getting booked to speak. Just like you. Let's go.